I primed it, both systems, the oil and the uh, fuel, a few minutes ago. I'm going to let it sit for a second, okay, and then I'm going to restart it. I can go over everything I did again. Uh, only thing I didn't add was water. Most of the water around here is full of iron, okay? So you need to, oh, that's the st that's a bump button for Justin Valve. Dave came up with that. Real good idea. All these sensors are for the computer. Uh, that's the new puke tank I put in. Used to have a vacuum pump. We got rid of that. Added a Moroso external single stage oil pump tank. Just to start it, I got it on, on pump gas. It doesn't matter. There's no load. It's just idling. It's eight and a half. I think it's nine to one. There's the oil system. Like I said before, feed, filter, outlet back to the engine. This out the top is a feed out of the filter. Turbo, turbo, pickup for the race pack. This is the pickup for fuel pressure. So, puke tank. Let's go over inside first, and then we'll worry about starting it. Okay? Inside. You got your MSD unit, your big stuff. Cool, you're not going to be see, able to see it's tucked way up in the front. You're not going to see any of that. It's too dark. You got the race pack unit, and I got the boost controller. Problem is, right now, this tank is on the inside has just come apart. It's 20 years old, maybe 21 years old. And the water leaks into it. That was the problem last time we went to the track. So, intercooler needs to be replaced. There's so much better units. That's if he doesn't even convert it to meth. Uh, what else you want to say? I think I already showed you. I changed the returns out of the bottom of the turbos to the valve covers. I thought that might work better. I ran two different lines for puke. Uh, Braid this to the puke tank. Matter of fact, I got a light. Maybe this will work for us. There's a light. Now you can see, hopefully, that's a Bruno Lenko. Real nice deal. Monitoring pressure. There's a dump valve so I can change pressure on the starting line. This way it helps spool a converter faster. Two speed, single shift. Neutral safety switch. Dave did a nice job on this. All these are on weather packs. Quick releases. I have never had a problem. I've never had to change anything. Except for when we do the shifter. i got to undo the shifter quick because we want to do that to get to the uh, transmission to change the converter. I can't tell you how many converters we tried. Shift panels on top, uh, yeah, switch panels on top. Let me see if I can look down so you can see the, con yeah, there you go, now you can see the coils tucked away. More solenoids for, con more solenoids for controllers. The waste gates. I showed you all that stuff. All right. Let me turn off the charger and light this thing. Okay. Charger's off. Let's go turn the battery switch on. Battery switch is on. on the front two new two new front runners like I said before there's a distributor in the back that we use for cam sync that determines injector timing there we go reach in turn it on come around it should light right away
I just want to see the damage. 80 pounds of oil pressure, tons of battery voltage. No, I didn't toggle through the screens. I could have toggled through the screens on the race pack. It would have given me everything. It would have given me exhaust temperatures. It would have given me fuel pressure. Didn't see much need in that. But there you have it. That's a restart after five minutes. It sounds terrific. A little bit of heat. And like I said, I don't want to go crazy. I'm going to miss racing with Mike. This car was a lot of fun. Learned a lot. Before I forget, I want to make sure I thank him. I thank him on tape here. Everything else? Naturally, he can call me if he's got any questions, but I think he's got a new guy to do some tuning. He's probably way better than I am. I don't do enough of this stuff anymore. But terrific car. Now you can see the, now you see the fire system head. Not the feed for the turbo. Fire system head is that solid line. Nice. Beautiful car. I just want to say thank you. And good luck to Mr. Mike. It'll probably be the last time I see him. Thank you. Take care. And I hope you enjoyed watching.